In this video, we will learn about how to make a hexagonal plate as per the constraints given in the question. So here the hexagonal plate is of side 30 mm and the thickness is negligible. The surface is perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP. So we will make the hexagonal plate on the vertical plane which is parallel to 15 mm to the VP. So we will create a, another plane at a distance of 15 mm and we will draw the hexagonal plate on that. Then we will make the hexagonal plate inclined at 45 degree. Let's go for the sketching. Click on create sketch. So before creating a sketch, one more thing we need to do because they have given that it is uh, parallel to VP at a distance of 15 mm. So, but uh, it won't uh, have any difference on the drawing. Anyway, let's try to create a parallel plane. So to create a parallel plane, just go to construct and select offset plane. So for offset plane, select this frontal plane over here and you move the distance so the distance is 15 mm or you can write it over here so it is 15 so the distance is minus 15 because i am moving the plane is in this direction so if you want to move on the other side you give the positive value so let me confirm so here you can see there is already an XZ plane you can see here and the created plane is active now okay so let's select this plane and make a sketch let's draw a hexagonal plate over here so here the hexagonal plate let me try to draw at some distance from here okay can draw also at based on the origin so here let me select the polygon command and select circumscribed polygon click on the origin point so here they have given one of its sides is parallel to hp so make sure it is like this okay so click over here and give the dimension of one of the side as 30 mm and let's make sure one of the line is horizontal so let's select one of the line is horizontal so that it will be a fully constrained sketch. Now let's come out of the sketch by clicking finish sketch. So here. Now to create the surface, you need to uh, go to the surface tab and click on patch surface. Okay. So after creating this, we need to rotate the plane. So for rotating the plane, we need some axis. So since I'm going to rotate based on the vertical reference plane, I'm going to draw an axis parallel to this. So let me again open the sketcher window and draw a line over here. And make this line as a construction line. Now let's come out of the sketch. Go to the surface tab, click on patch. So you can select the boundary edges. So click on this edge. Automatically, it will select the entire link of the curve.
So let me press select. Yes, okay. And then give OK. Again, let me explain to you. So for this one, so this is the sketch we have drawn. Click on finish sketch. So to view the sketch, So this is the sketch which can be viewed. So go to the sketches and activate the sketch. Now let's try to create the surface by using this sketch. So go to the surface tab and select the patch command and click inside the boundary. It will automatically create the surface based on that. So here the operation is it is creating a new body. So it's a default one. So give OK. Now we have created the surface of the hexagonal plate with a negligible thickness. Now let us try to rotate this plane at an angle of 45 degree. To rotate any object, we need to go to the solid tab and then select move or copy. So this one, select it. So here the object to be moved is this one and here there are different options are there. You can do the free move, you can translate, you can rotate like that. So here we need to do the operation rotate. So select the option rotate and then you need to select the axis based on which axis we want to rotate. So select the axis and click on this line. So now it will show you the rotator. So here you can see if I click and move, the object is rotating. So now what is the angle of inclination we need? It is 45 degree. So select the angle and type 45 degree and give OK. Now you can see here. The object is created and rotated at an angle of 45 degree. So if you go to the front view, you can see initially the object was like that. And it is rotated to an angle of 45 degree. Now let us try to create a drawing of this one. To create a drawing, go to design. Drawing from design. Give a name for it. I'm going to give it as experiment 5A. So here I can select the location. So I'm selecting the lab practice and give save. So here it is opening a new window. So in this one, Change the sheet size to A4 and give OK. Now it is opening the drawing window. So here defaultly the front view will come. Click on the front view and then select the projected view. Select the parent view as your front view and move your mouse. It will create the top view. So click anywhere to confirm it and press escape to come out of the command. Now the dimensions will not be visible directly here. So let's try to create an axillary view. So to create an axillary view, click on axillary view command. You can see my mouse and select any one edge here and move your mouse so that axillary view will be created. Click over here and then press enter. So now we have created the axillary view. Only in the axillary view you can see the actual size of it. So here let me give the dimension. So this dimension is 30. 
any edge if you dimension it it will give you the value as 30 so to give the angle over here i need to make a construction horizontal line here so that i can able to make the dimension as 45 degrees to make that go to create and select the create sketch and draw a line over here and then come out of the line command select the line and make it as horizontal so that the line will become horizontal give finish sketch now let's try to create an angle between these two so go to dimensions angular dimension select this line and this line you will get an angle of 45 degree press escape to come out of the command now in order to uh, represent the views just select text select text and draw a box over here type it as front view just click outside then again select sketch click and draw a box type it as top view select text draw a box over here and type it as auxiliary view so once you have created the sketch you can type your register number here by selecting the text command so you type your register number like for example double nine seven six like that so you give you type your register number here so once you have created your drawing click on export select pdf so here if you want to open the pdf here itself you can click on open for example let me select open pdf then give ok So since it is giving an exclamatory mark, so it is asking some dislocated annotations. It's okay. Click on continue and give the exercise number and click on save. So now you are a uh, PDF is created. So why this exclamation mark is coming is it won't come on the PDF but it will come on the drawing. The reason is that since it is a surface we have created a, a dimension with the surface and a horizontal line. So that's why it is giving exclamation mark. Okay. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.